Imagine this, you're flying at 37,000 feet over the Indian Ocean. A massive 747 jet hung smoothly through night. Then one by one, all four engines shut down. No thrust, no sound, just silence. You are now gliding powerless towards the ocean. This is the true story of British Airways Line 9, a flight that lost all of its engines in midair and still landed safely. June 24, 1982, British Airways Flight 9 departs Kuala Lumpur, headed for Perth. A Boeing 747-200 named City of Edinburgh, 248 passengers, 15 crew. The crew, Captain Eric Moody, First Officer Roger Greaves, and Flight Engineer Barry Townley Freeman. It's a normal flight, smooth air, autopilot on. At 37,000 feet, they enter what looks like a harmless cloud, but it's not. It's volcanic ash from Mount Galungu, invisible to radar, deadly to jet engines. Then, the passengers notice a strange electric blue glow outside the windows. You seen that? The glow on the windscreen? Yeah, never seen anything like it. Suddenly, engine 4 flames out, then Two, one, and three. The 747 is gliding powerless. We've lost number four. Number two is gone. Stand by. We've lost them all. All engines out. No power. Okay, let's go through a checklist. Engine restart. Immediate. The plane is now a 400 ton glider, descending fast. Nothing like this has ever happened before. Therefore, the pilots aren't trained for this kind of event. Then comes a now famous PA from Captain Moody. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We have a small problem. All four engines have stopped. We're doing a damn dust to get them going again. I trust you're not in too much distress. Calm under pressure, the crew calculates they can glide around 90 miles, but they're already below 20,000 feet. They reroute fuel. Change ignition settings, retry the start sequence. Still nothing! Wait! The alertation number 4! Engines 4, coming back! Keep going, try 3 again! At just 12,000 feet, two engines are back, just enough to make it to Jakarta. But there's another problem. The ash has sandblasted the windshield. The crew can barely see. The glass is sandblasted. We've got like an inch of good glass at the bottom. I'll use that. Keep her steady. They will land using instruments and a tiny clear strip of glass. They descend over Jakarta. Flaps extended. Gear down. They have the runway, I think. Coming in now. Speed's good. Descent rate steady. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Squeals. They land safely. No injuries. The impossible made real. All 263 people survived. The engines were full of melted ash. The aircraft was repaired. The crew held as heroes. Flight 9 changed aviation forever. Volcanic ash detection became standard. And the phrase, doing our damnedest, became an aviation legend. <laughs>